today we're going to be working with Blender and we're going to do some video editing in this series and we're going to, uh, you know, I'm just going to show you some basic video editing stuff, stuff that you might do in, in any other video editor can be done in Blender uh, and it does it fairly well. There's a few things weird about Blender which I'll, I'll go over. Um, if you're not used to Blender, you should just get used to Blender, go to Blender website, learn how the keys work, because in the video editor, it works pretty much all the shortcut keys and how things are handled are similar to the rest of Blender, which a lot of people complain about, but it's, it's just different. It's not that it's right or wrong, it's just different, and you play with it a little bit, you get used to it. I've been using Blender for years, and I, I, I use the controls without thinking about it. So let's go ahead and get started. I am using Blender 2.7a in this video. And let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change my little scene uh, from the default view to video editor or video editing, which is also known as the sequencer. Now, the nice thing about Blender is you can rearrange all this, which we might go over in a different uh, video, you know, and you can actually have like a library of videos up here and stuff like that. But this is the default setup. So let's start working with this. Uh, your timelines down here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to say add and I'm going to go to movie and then I'm going to go to a folder where my movies are and here they are listed. And I'm going to go ahead and click this little icon view or thumbnail view here and it will give me a thumbnail view. And I got some video from last summer of my daughter playing in the sprinkler. Uh, off to the left here, uh, you can see we have some options for importing. Uh, so if you want to import the video clips without the sound, you can uncheck the sound clip here. And then also you can see this is where it's going to start and what channel start. Channel uh, basically uh, tracks is what's called most video editors uh, is basically what track or where on the timeline is going to be and what frame it's starting at. And since I don't have any videos in there, I'm just going to leave it at one. Now this bottom check box is great. Back in the day uh, with Blender, if you imported a video and it was a different frame rate than your project, by default Blender is 24 frames a second and most digital video, uh, at least here in the US, is 30 frames a second, um, your, your video would be a different length than your audio because it would adjust the video length to that. Well this little checkbox will automatically change that, so before you had to change your project's frame rate to match your video frame rate before you started, and if you had multiple frame rates in your video clips, like you took them with different cameras, uh, I suppose that could be a problem still might be a problem, but this will uh, use the frame rate of the movie. It will change your project to the frame rate of these videos. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to select two of these clips and I'm going to say add. And you can see it added it at frame one because that's what we set it to and it started on track one or channel one here. Now one of the things, uh, for the most part, I like the, the Blender video editor. Um, things, uh, one thing I think it's really missing is most Video editors, when you have a video on a timeline here, it gives you thumbnails down here so you can quickly see what clips are what. This doesn't. I'm not sure if there's a way to do that. Uh, also, it puts the audio above the video, which is the opposite of all video other video editors. Not that it's right or wrong, it's just weird because that's not what I'm used to. And I'll quite often like go to edit the video clip and I end up doing something with the audio clip. But uh, you can either, you know, right click this and hit G and grab and put it somewhere else. I'll hit escape to get that. Or when you select one or two, I'll shift click to select both of those. You can see over here on the left, you have a channel thing, and I guess it only moves one at a time. But you can move it channel wise there, and that way you don't mess up where it is at location wise as far as uh, seconds or frames. Uh, so now I put the video up on top here. Uh, and we're going to talk about trimming up these clips. And for now, I'm just going to delete the audio. Well, no, I'll leave the audio there as an example. Because you do move them independently or together, depending on what you're doing. So you have these little handles at the end of each clip. So I can right-click this and hit G, just like you do in any other part of Blender to grab. And I can resize this video. Uh, I'll hit Control z twice to undo that, or three times to undo that. But that's one way to resize a video, but another way is to cut. So I can uh, left click and put my timeline marker wherever I want. So let's say right there. Now I just have the uh, video selected here. I can hit K and it will cut what's selected on that line. And then I can grab and move this out. Uh, and uh, there are two types of cuts. There's hitting K like we did, which is a soft cut, and hitting Shift K, which is a hard cut. And I'll show you the difference here in a moment. Um, but if you wanted to, let's say, cut the audio and video together, uh, I can. you can also group things here, which we'll get into a, in a later video. But I'm going to hit A, B to unselect all, and then do a box select. Then I can left click, and here I can hit K, and it'll cut both those clips for me. So we can do that. Uh, let's undo all that. Just hit Control Z a couple times. So uh, well, let's let me show you the difference between a hard cut and a short cut. 
Um, so I have this video selected. I'm going to go ahead and hit K like we did earlier, and then I can grab and move this. But you notice I can grab this, and if I want to resize it, I can resize it back out. And it's just adding those frames back in. So basically I have two copies of the same clip, uh, just at different sizes and different locations. I'll go ahead and delete that one. Or actually, let's just undo everything again. Control Z a couple times. Now, if I shift K with that selected, now I can move this and we did a hard cut. Now I can grab this. I can make it shorter, but I can't make it go past that. You see how it's kind of grayed out there? Same with this one here. The video does not play. See, it's kind of, it's giving you a still frame there. So you can't resize the video back out past that. Um, so you can see, let me just play here. I'll hit Control A to play. And you can see it's playing and then you get a freeze frame and then it continues playing over here. I hope that makes sense. I don't think, I, I feel like I explained fairly poorly. Um, but you can see, once you cut it with a hard cut, uh, the video is clipped at that point. And if you pull it out, you can do a still frame, which is, which is useful if you want to have a freeze frame at some point. Um, but you're not going to accidentally drag the video back out if you wanted to make sure that video was clipped. So that's, that's Shift K. Like so. And then you can see it's gray, grayed out there. And those are how to uh, clip. So let's quickly review. I'm going to... Let's just delete everything. I'll grab everything, delete. Now you notice my, my timeline marker is here in the middle. Now if I go to uh, Add and I again go to Movie, uh, you can see by default down here it's saying start at frame 93. So if I was to grab a clip and import it, it's going to move it to frame 93. I could have changed that to 1. So keep that in mind. It's going to drop it where you have that timeline mark unless you change that number. I can grab that though and I can drag it back to frame 1 here and if I hit uh, Control, it should clip to it. There we go. Oops, and I let go of Control. <laughs> there we go. You can also, if I was to grab like my video here, again, you can change the start frame over here. So if you want it right when you don't have to drag it, you can just click here and hit one and hit enter. I can do the same for the audio, one and hit enter. And you can also adjust the length here. So off to the side here, you have a bunch of options that we're going to go over in the next few videos on, on changing uh, aspects of your clips. So that's the first look at it. Next video, we're going to look over different types of fades. So I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There should be a link in the description. If you enjoy these videos, think about supporting me over at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. And as always, I hope that you have a great day day.